Replica stars Keanu Reeves and was one of the films I missed last year when it came out in January. This film is about a scientist played by Reeves who's trying to engineer a human transference of mind to a robot body. And after his entire family dies in a horrible car crash, he decides to take a risk to see if he can clone their bodies to bring them back to life. This movie was filmed in August of 2016 and not released until last year. And whenever that happens, you know that's a pretty bad sign. Usually when a movie is held that long on a shelf, it's probably really bad. There have been a few cases that were different, like The Cabin in the Woods, for instance, but not replicas. This is a really bad one. And gratefully, since it's been out for a long time now, I don't mind talking to you about some spoilers, but I'm gonna save that for later on in the video. Let's start with the positive. I do like this concept. I think the idea is really fresh. It's a bit Philip K. Dick. In fact, there's a lot of sequences that are very similar to Minority Report. Reeves maneuvering this map with his hands and a device on his head. It feels very much so like Steven Spielberg's film. But the idea of a scientist who has the ability to bring back his family. And once he does, he notices that things just can never fully be exactly like they were. No matter how hard you want to save someone, even if you have the means to do it, in this specific way, it's probably not going to be the same. And I, that's a very complex idea, and it could be very emotionally interesting. Unfortunately, this is one of the messiest films I've seen recently. It's extremely incoherent. This story is told in, in such a convoluted way. People kind of walk into a scene and introduce plot points for you. Characters just appear in Reeves' life and say, this is something you should be thinking about. And suddenly that becomes a plot point. He doesn't really experience things so much as he is stopped by people while he's walking and they tell him things that become important to the plot, which makes for some really boring characters and no mystery and zero intrigue. Reeves and Alice Eve are fine in the movie. I, this isn't one of Reeves' best performances, obviously, but I've certainly seen worse from him. I love that man and I'm always gonna like him in movies, even when he's not that great in a movie. But in this case, he's serviceable in this role. Along with the messy script is some absolutely horrendous CGI. Whenever the robot character is on screen, which by the way, we're gonna get into some spoilers here, if you haven't seen replicas or if you care to see it, Whenever this character is on screen, these effects look unfinished. This thing isn't moving naturally. It seems like it's at a different frame rate from everything else around it. Any investment you might have had towards the finale of the movie once Keanu Reeves takes his consciousness and puts it inside a robot that now wants to kind of like be his assistant and beat up some guys. That investment just completely goes away because it's so absurd. Unfortunately, the movie just can't sustain this idea. I am totally fine with a movie that asks you to believe a lot as long as the film is made well. Inception is a movie that's filled with potential plot inaccuracies and all kinds of plot holes you could look for if you really wanted to, but it's a really well-made movie and so you're able to look past some of those things. A film like Replica's needed a much better script and a much better director because it just can't sustain the weirdness and the absurdity levels that the final few minutes of this movie have. Once we reveal that Reeves' robot counterpart is wearing a business suit and has taken over parts of this operation in another country, Oh, Bill, it's time to go to work. Boot the mapping sequence. You can't help but laugh. It's the final fucking shot in the movie, for God's sakes. I'm gonna give replicas a D. I would say the first hour of the movie had some potential because the entire first hour is Reeves trying to clone his family successfully. And it feels like such a slow burn to where you're getting to something interesting. Like if that first hour was maybe more like the first act, but it's not. 
it's half the movie. And after that, it just continues to get weirder and weirder and not in a good way, unfortunately. Guys, thank you so much as always for watching. I'm looking forward to continuing to talk about films that I missed last year, as well as doing more VOD and streaming content. You guys are the best. Thank you as always. And if you like this, you can click right here and get stuckmanized.